Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't already know, my name is Tamia Lee. My voice probably sound like extra deep cause y'all, I was hoarse like a couple days ago. So I'm getting my voice back. And today we are going to cut this wig because I started my locks and um, they're in like the locking stage and everything like that. So I just want something easy and cute like to wear over my little starter locks. This is the T-part wig that I got from, um, I forgot the company name, but they sent me this to review it. And yeah, I reviewed it and I wore it like this for a while. And now I wanna cut it into a blunt cut. So I am gonna wash this hair, but after I cut it, um, I'm gonna use my hot comb just to run through the hair, just to get it a little straighter for a more accurate cut, so. Just like that. But you see how easy it was to straighten this side? And it's on 450. It's actually still heating up, so. But I'm just. So like I said, not to um not to get it bone straight, but just to get it, you know, straight enough. And it's not tacked down. I just got it on like this so I can cut it. I'm gonna split it into uh, on two sides. And Is that the middle? I think so. <laughs> I think that's the middle. But um, I'm parting on two sides. Let me get my rubber bands. Wherever they are. All right, y'all, so um, I got my rubber bands, split it. On the side, I'm gonna take my rubber band So, trying to put my head as straight as possible so I can see where the hair is going to fall and this is like the hardest part. So you see, this is very important. You see how I got the um, ponytail right here instead of up here. If I was to put the ponytail, <clears throat> sorry y'all. So for instance, if I was to put the ponytail right here, this hair in the back would be longer. So since I can't see the back, I don't want to have to cut too much to the back. So 
what I'm doing is placing the ponytail more toward the back so that the back would be more straighter and I don't have to do more, I don't have to do as much customizing to the back as I would to the front. Hope that made sense. <laughs> So, just kind of look to see if everything looks pretty even. Alright, so as you can see, it's sitting here on my shoulder. And that's where I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut above the band. All right, so um, I'm going to cut this out first. <laughs> My plan did not work. It did not work. <laughs> Cause the back is still a little longer, but it might be all right. It might be okay. It might be all right. So the same for this side. I'm just gonna cut the thing. <laughs> You'll see. But hold on one second. All right, y'all. So this is how the cut is looking so far. So this side is a little bit longer than this side. So let me. All right, so I'm just gonna have to trim this side a little more, but I'm gonna try to make it easy for myself. And I'm gonna use another rubber band. Cause I'm not trying to be messy and have hair everywhere. So I'm gonna cut like that much off and perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right, so now with the back, I'm just going to section this part to the front. And I'm going to put this in a rubber band, but I'm not going to cut it. Back there, and then the same thing for this side. And then this is the rubber band. All right. All right, so now for the back, I'm going to. Hold on. I had to fix my locks to make them flat under the so now just gonna brush back apply a ponytail holder this one since this ponytail is a little thicker I'm gonna do two two pull
put one some in the back. And then I'm gonna pull it down from. Okay, I think that's it. I'm so nervous. So, um, I'm actually gonna take the wig off. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the wig off and cut this. <sighs> yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna cut the obvious, which is this. Let's see. Alright y'all, so I put her on my mannequin head so I can kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> so basically this is how it looks. It's not perfect, but it's perfect enough for me. Okay. So and so what I'm gonna do um, to help camouflage the imperfections of the cut, I'm going to dye the wig jet black. And it's going to look bomb. So, I got to go to the store and get some jet black dye. And I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So, I went to the, to CVS because, girl, the beauty supply store was closed at 7. At seven. So, hey, Sting Sting. Hey. Say, hey. Say it to the camera. So they didn't. The beauty supply was close at seven, which is like it's early. It's summertime. So I went to CVS and I got this jet black color. And it's by Dark and Lovely. It should be enough to do this whole wig. It's in a jet black. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna water dye it or I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put it in the sink. And this is cute, y'all. Just imagine some little light curls in it. But I'm just gonna put it. I think I'm a watercolor, but I don't know. All right, y'all. So, good morning. So, this is the wig. I just snatched it off the. This is the wig. I dyed it jet black. And, girl, I did a good job because it's all way black. So, now, what I'm going to do is straighten her out. All right, y'all. So, I've decided to just 
style it on my mannequin head, but just because it's just gonna be so easier. And I can straighten up the cut if I needed to, so. Have this little, this ain't even a wig stand, y'all. This is something I made out of one of my little things that hold my backdrop. There we go. All right, can y'all see that? Okay, so now what I'm just gonna do is straighten the hair. Um, I like to, to work inside, so. Uh, I need another clip. All right, y'all. So let me show y'all what, what I did. So I have the back in two small sections. Hopefully this is gonna even the back out and create layers. Hopefully. So I'm gonna take the first part and just pin it up. Take the back part. Now this time I'm cutting like this, so it kind of it's gonna kind of create a layer effect. Y'all will see. And I have my band, like I want my layers to be kind of low, so I put my band low. If you want higher layers, just move your band higher. Girl, I ain't even gonna look yet. I'm not even gonna look because I'm just I'm just gonna save myself a disappointment and I'm just gonna go ahead and find her and bump the back. Hopefully. Hold on, I gotta sleep with this hair because it's bothering me. All right, y'all. So what I'm doing now is basically it's how I want it. I just need to get some of this, some of these sharp lines out of it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it got some really sharp lines from the scissors. So what I'm just gonna do is randomly grab some hair and just point to it. Just to soften the look in the back. Just to soften all of this in the back, really. See?
Okay, y'all. So, let me try to show you guys what I did. So, I've only done something to this part, which was the point cutting. And as you can see, it definitely looks better. And you can kind of see the choppiness in this side. So just point cut the ends, that's all. And it's gonna help eliminate that bulkiness. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try the wig on again. Um, let me just... And the cut, it looks so much better, y'all. I just hope it looks good like this on my head. You see how the bulkiness is just the heaviness of the ends. You can't see the defined lines in the back like you could before. So that's what point cutting does. See? All right. All right, y'all, so this is how the wig is looking. Um, I'm done cutting. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it, but I am gonna lay the lace in the front and do the baby hair and stuff. And I might throw a little, I don't know, we'll see. But this is how it looks before I do the lace and put on my makeup. Yeah, I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So I did my makeup and everything. And I'm just gonna flatten out the top. And then do me a little flip right there. is cute all right so now let's see how it looks okay so here we are she is definitely giving she's definitely giving I hope she giving in the back as much as she is giving in the front um So, what was I gonna do? First of all, let me put on some Carmax. I might wear this Friday. I'm going out Friday. I might wear this. This is cute. Really cute. All right, so for the blending of the lace and everything, so what I always like to do is um, comb my baby hair out. We'll just mold them a certain way, but comb them out, you know. So they won't be looking all crunchy. This is so cute. So same thing over here. Comb them out and just swoop. Just like that, sister. So now, girl, she's giving. Oh, I'm so scared with the back, y'all. Hopefully she's still giving in the back, but if she's not, I'm gonna fix her up to make her to be given. So I got some, um, I got this, and I'm gonna put some foundation on my hand and some concealer. <clears throat> So I'm just gonna mix those two together. Kai, that's who's in the background, yellow. Kai. He be in there yelling at Elmo. All right, so now, I'm gonna take this and just put it on the lace. Just to make everything blend a little better. Kai! Oh. Oh. 
I'm sorry, I'm like on this way because I cannot see. Okay. Are y'all ready to go? Cause it's time to go. This is cute. This is giving. This is giving everything, y'all. Oh. Even if the back don't look good, the front and the side look bomb. And I'm gonna fix the back if I have to. Definitely that. Yeah. Yeah. And I just had this dress on just to match the outfit, the video, and the hair and everything. I ain't really going nowhere. Girl. Given. Definitely given. So I hope you guys love this look. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. I love it. 